Even after completing your plans in AutoCAD, do you again make a plan in SketchUp to create a 3D model? Or in case if you have already imported your CAD files, are you struggling with them in SketchUp? Most of the people face a lot of problem after they have imported the CAD files. And they end up making a plan in SketchUp again. I don't say it's totally wrong, but what if, if you're working on larger projects? You may not be able to complete your projects on deadline. So, on behalf of your request that I got on my comment section, I'm going to give you my 6 easy steps to import AutoCAD files in SketchUp. Hey everyone, my name is Pratiksha and I welcome you all to SketchUp Tutorial Nepal. Step number 1. Organize all your drawings in AutoCAD before importing. Now I am here on my AutoCAD window. You can see I have many drawings over here. I will delete all the unnecessary drawings and keep only the one I will be needing to make my 3D view. Button. Step number 2. Do not forget to check the units in SketchUp. To check your units in SketchUp, go to Windows, Preferences, Auto Template. On the templates, choose the desired unit that you will be working. I am choosing Architecture Inches as my AutoCAD drawing is in feet and inches and I will also make my model in feet and inches. Select and then OK. Step number 3. Create a separate layer for AutoCAD files. To create a separate layer for AutoCAD files in SketchUp, go to Windows, Default Tray, click on Show Tray and on the Layers, add a new layer now, rename it. Since our layer tool is not visible, go to views, toolbars, check on layers, close. Next, choose AutoCAD files. We will import our AutoCAD files and it will be on the layer AutoCAD file. Step number 4. Go to file and import your CAD files. Now, we are all set to import our AutoCAD file. Go to file. Import Select the file you need to import. Step number 5. Check options and units depending on what you are using. On file type, go to AutoCAD files. Next, do not forget to check the options. Under options, tick Morse Go Planner Faces, Orient Faces and Import Materials and Preserve the Drawing Origin. Under Unit, Units, I will choose Inches as I will be making my model in feet and inches. OK. Choose Import. You can close this. So. We have imported our CAD files. This is how you import your AutoCAD file in SketchUp. Step number 6. Resize the model if it's too large. So what you can do is, this is how I do. Mm, our door is 9 feet over here. I draw a 3 feet line over here. Okay. Since the width of my door is also 3 feet, what I'll do is reduce the scale S and Still, still, this is how I resize my model. 
by taking a reference done okay now okay now we are done so this is how i resize my model if it comes in large scale please let me know whether it work for you or not so these were my six easy steps to import autocad file in sketchup if you have any other ways to import cat files then please write down on the comment section below it would be helpful for other users if you want to see more of the sketchup tutorial videos then do not forget to subscribe to my channel and like my videos I have also made a video tutorial on how to use the free version of SketchUp. Have you checked that? You do not need to install SketchUp application on your device to use the free version of SketchUp. Thank you for watching.